Hey everyone, this is Rob over here at Boon Vape, and I hope you're having an amazing day. Today I'll be bringing you all a, another New World video, and this time it's going to be on some more money makers or more up-to-date money makers. Of course, I've made other money makers in the past, and a lot of those videos are still pretty applicable, and I still use some of those methods here, but those were mainly aimed at the first few days. In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly what I've done in order to make approximately 40,000 gold, if not more, in the first week of the game. I'm going to be showing you exactly what I've been selling and everything like that. Of course, I'm not saying I have the most money or anything like that. I'm just showing you I have a decent amount of money and I could buy pretty much anything in the game at this point. And there are going to be some timestamps down below. If you do want to hop around, I'll go much more in depth in the video. Just for everyone wondering, I am pretty much selling gems potions, gear that I find, as well as bags. So if that's all you wanted to know, you're good to go. But if you do want to know exactly what I'm selling them for and which type of items I'm selling, then we'll go into depth in each part of the video. So with that out of the way, if you do enjoy this video and it does help you out or anything like that, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really does help us out and help us get noticed. So with that being said, let's get into the very first item, which is going to be gems. So the first thing I wanted to do in this video is take you over here to the trading post to see exactly what I'm selling in the sell orders right now. Uh, I would honestly take you over to my order history, but it doesn't go back far enough. I think it only goes back about 20 slots in your sell history, so it's not very comprehensive. So I'll just go through what I actually have active to sell right now, and you can uh, take a look and see what I'm selling stuff for. So the first thing, like I said, is going to be gems. A lot of these I did list fairly recently and already a couple have sold. But as you can see, these cut brilliant tier four gems. So pretty much all of these gems are going to be, um, I guess, for lack of a better uh, pun, uh, diamonds in the rough. So you can check them out. The diamonds actually are very, very good, as well as the onyx. They're highly sought after. You can see um, the opals here selling for around a thousand on my server right now because they are very good gems. Uh, whether you put them in armor or in your weapon. So gems are going to be very, very expensive, especially early on like this, because not many people are able to do it. It's very easy to actually be able to cut them, but they are hard to find. I'd highly recommend getting some mining clothes. These are clothes that increase your chance of luck while mining, and that'll increase your chance of getting these gems. On top of that, you can find gems from a lot of different events, whether you're doing corrupted portals, a really good place to find them is if you're doing elite zones, you can find really good tier four and tier five gems there. But those gems are gonna go for a lot because people are gonna need at least six for the gear, one for each weapon. So that's a lot of gems that people are gonna be wanting. And a lot of people in the war discords are definitely buying them, even if they are very expensive. Maybe not this expensive, I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest and tell you that uh, I haven't sold like a bunch of these gems yet. Obviously, a lot of people have have this much money floating around, but trust me, soon eventually people are going to be buying these, especially for the big wars. A lot of people are starting to hit 60 now, and these are going to start flying. So I'd highly recommend getting into gems as soon as possible, and it's really easy to level up your stone cutter, and that's all you need in order to cut gems. You don't need to make the jewelry, just make the gems. So with that being said, let's move on to the next one, which is going to be bags. So here we are. Let's take a real quick look at the completed orders that I have because I actually don't have any of these on market currently. It is kind of expensive to get the rune of holding yourself, although I guess you could buy it off the market if they are cheap enough. That being said, here are the main bags I've been selling recently, which are going to be the layered leather adventurer satchels. These are the tier four bags and have about 200 encumbrance. And also you can get an extra stat that makes it so they have additional space which is really good you can sell those for much more than these normally so 3100 is the price that i sold this bag for that was i was really happy with that price um if you do find something with better stats this does not have very good perks on it but if you do get really good perks on it you can sell it for maybe even four or five thousand gold especially if you're the one of the first people on your server so these are not very difficult to make you really just need a, an absolute boatload of raw hide that you get at the very beginning of the game you just need a ton of that and you'll be able to set this up as long as you get your armor to level 100 as well as the last one the gems you do need stone cutting 100 but once you get that you'll be set to rock and this is a really good money maker you're making at least 2,000 gold on this that is of course minus the cost of the major rune of holding so let's move on to the next one which is going to be potions 
Again, taking another look at our completed orders, we have a few powerful regeneration potions. And you can see I've sold a couple of them here a couple different times for a really good amount of money. As well as I have a bunch listed here. These lower level potions, the common ones, aren't really selling anymore. As you know, as people level up, they become less and less useful. And so you're really just going to be looking for the strong potions or the powerful potions. Those are going to sell for a significant amount of money, except for maybe these mana ones. It seems people have had enough of those. Take a look here. If we look up the powerful health potion, this is just a standard healing potion that drops off of a lot of enemies and you can make them pretty easily if you know the right spots to farm. So this heals for a really good amount. And this is what people around my level, around 50 to 60 are going to be looking for. And of course, the final tier five potion is really what you're going to be looking for. So if you can make those, then you're definitely going to be totally set. Even here, you can see on my server, there's not very many of these available. You know, one, 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 twelve, nine. So if I wanted to, I could list all of my powerful potions that I have right now. I have 45. I could sell them for a pretty good amount, just around 4,000, 5,000 gold if I wanted to. But like I said, that is not something that I'm currently wanting to do. I don't need more money. I'd rather have my potions on me, but like you can see that you can get them pretty easily as long as you, uh, again, know what you're looking for and really go after it. Level up your arcane as much as possible and you will be in a really good spot. Of course, you can craft other potions like I showed you just now, the powerful regeneration potions. Those ones sell pretty good. I would just mainly recommend the health one and the regeneration one. Those ones seem to sell pretty steadily. So moving on to the fourth and final moneymaker, that's going to be selling random gear that I've been finding. And I'll tell you particularly a type of gear that is selling really well. So I know we've been here a couple times throughout the video, but if you take a look here, this is again my completed orders list. And you see that I actually have quite a bit of gear just randomly spattered throughout here. So this epic I just randomly found, I don't know, I this is a, a guess, so take this with a grain of salt, but I think after level 50 you start uh, having the ability to find epics that you can actually sell on the market. I know before level 50, I could only find epics that were bind on pickup. So of course you can't sell those. And this one I sold really cheap because it's not a very good musket, but just because it's purple, people are willing to pay for it. But as we scroll down here, you'll notice that I'm selling a lot of these blue uh, random items with the word miner and harvester in it. Like I told you earlier with the gems, um, it's really, really good. A really good idea, honestly, if, especially if you have a little bit of extra money and you are going to be going out and gathering whatever you're going to be gathering, try to pick up some gear like this. It doesn't matter what the stats are as long as it has whatever type of gathering you're doing, luck. So this is mining luck. This one gives you harvesting luck. And this just makes it so you have a higher chance of finding a rare item. And while 4% isn't a lot, if you have a full set of five pieces, that can stack up to be a pretty decent amount. And I definitely actually noticed a difference whenever I was using them. So even this one, this is just a random green. It doesn't even have miner in the name, but it does give you mining luck. There are other items that give you straight up additional luck to just find rare gear. Those actually also sell pretty decently. And this is just a staff that I found that was pretty decent. Definitely don't limit yourself to the luck gear, but if you do find those, sell those. This is just a traditional piece that was a decently high gear score. I noticed it was pure focus, which I know healers look for that. And it has um, a mortal lifesteal, so, or whenever you kill something, you get health back. So if you find a item with a pretty good stat, decent perk on it, as well as an empty socket on it, then that's actually going to go for quite a bit of money. A lot of people are going to be looking for that. It's a really cheap pickup and upgrade. They could either farm for a few hours and hopefully get an upgrade, or they could just spend a measly 40 bucks and pick this up right here pretty easily. Now I know a lot of people might be thinking that you see these other gems and stuff and this is only 40 bucks, 40 bucks, 80 bucks, five bucks. I mean, the amount of gold doesn't really matter as long as you're making a profit, you're gonna slowly be chewing into your profit and continuing to get more and more money throughout this video. I showed you a bunch of different ways. Obviously not all of them are gonna be making you 2000 gold like leather bags, but you are going to be slowly making money and building up. That's why I have at least four main money makers so that I'm always having a little bit of money flowing in just to make sure that you have a bunch of different ways to make money. I just showed you my top four and I really hope that helped you out and that you enjoyed this video and you're able to take, you know, something away from this and build up your 
cash pile. So if you're trying to buy a really nice house or get a really sick piece of loot, I hope this video did help you out some. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all very soon.